Hey, yo, what is going on with it once again? Bros, women, bronies, and pegasus. The one, and of course, Mr. Nintendo Sony Free 2011 NK Christmas Guide 2009. Of course, you guys on the rest of the intro before everybody get up. You can check out freenetwork.com. Of course, I'm not Susan. Not, not. If any people want professional channel of Baron Design, and a picture design lead specifically made for you, and I will put their link to their YouTube channel. Of course, their home website down below, or just Google them. Best partnership I ever had, all that good stuff. Check them down below, give them a listen to. And with that said, let's begin this thing. Let's get it in. 3, 2, 1. Here it is. So. Kablam! And my god, once again, this is a nostalgic 90s trip in a way like character analysis review. Even though I did name it nostalgic like 90s character segment time of analysis reviews. But uh, yeah, sorry if I was shaking the camera there, hopefully it doesn't fall. So uh, let's get, get, out with, get on with the first character, which is Henry. And I actually like June a lot more than Henry because I remember he used to kick the crap. Just kick ass. Freaking type of like tomboy chick. I don't know if she was either a lesbian or a tomboy. It always like kind of like it always made me crack my head for some reason. I always would you know bust my head open for that thing. Not physically or of course I'd be dead. Um, I'm talking about mentally. It would always bust my head open every time. Mentally in a mental way of course. If June was either she was a tomboy chick. She really liked guy stuff or it was either that or maybe she was lesbian. It didn't matter to me because you know I was like seven eight years old when the stuff was coming out mid late 90s so I couldn't really grasp that concept too well, like I can now, like 26, obviously. Way more bigger time difference, you know, jump back, actually, no, jump forward about 19, 20, 21 years later. You know, um, it's pretty damn of a huge ass difference. Of course, this is the last epitome of the golden era, like 90s and early mid 2000s, when cartoons were actually still good at the time. Nowadays, there's very few cartoons that are out there. Hell, I ever heard, actually heard a couple good things about Steven Universe. I may or may not watch it, but. I just didn't like the way that dude like talked a lot. He sounded annoying as hell. But let's get on to the concept. You know, there's a lot of other big shows too. Before I um, jump onto the concept, you probably just skip the three, four minutes of this like um, video, and I'll put the annotation down below. That's the thing. You know, regular show is my thing, and Legend of Course kind of like my thing too. Even though they don't show it anymore, but back when they were showing it back at the time, you know, last year, I think it was the year before, I was pretty damn deep into it. I just never really talked too much about it. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, let's get on with Henry now. So, and the links to the wikis down below if you want to read it. And all the other things, of course. So, he says, Henry, voiced by, at the time, which was Noah Sagan. Sagan, or Sagan. is the main character of the old school Nickelodeon animated television series, Kablam. Or as he used to say, Kablam! I remember that so damn well. If you are a 90s kid, you know what I'm talking about. If you're not, if you're a 2000s and up, you probably have no idea what I'm saying right now. Unless you did your research, what 90s kids were like, because most of us are like in our 20s, early, mid 30s by now. But, anyways, let's keep it moving. Um, And it's short lived off spin off The Henry and June Show. I never even heard about that one. Maybe that was so short. He co hosts the show Kablam, which was his friend June appearance. I'm not I'm probably going to not read the whole thing, but I may, anyways, just for the sake of it. Henry has green hair with a blue shirt and containing an upside down smiley face with red pants and yellow shoes. Characterization and personality. Henry is the energetic host of Kablam. He acts foolishly and believes he should look good shirtless. <laughs> I remember he used to take his shirt off all the time and that was so weird. In one episode of season one, Comics for Champions, he had a crush on Thunder Girl from Actually Now. Oh, I so remember that. I'm definitely recalling some nostalgia right now, people. <sighs> Sorry if I keep fanboying back in the day. In season one, excuse me. Henry is shown to be a smarter than June and more likely an older brother to her. In season 2 and 4, he is more clumsy and dim-witted. Henry is also prone to the majority of the show accidents, including getting hurt by Mr. Foot or show Sasquatch Bigfoot. Some of Henry's skills include playing the guitar and dancing. Relationship with June. This was the kicker right here. L listen to this. Even though Henry often ends up receiving end of the end of um, June's jokes... They are often very close. They were, there have been threats to their bond, threat, threats to their bond most nobility of the show. And the episode won't stick to most dental work in which Henry got tired of being made fun of and left. But then always at the end, ends up getting back together in the end. Throughout the show, it is implied that June has a crush on Henry and allegedly kisses him in the mythical episode 29. I had no idea. Henry's Lessons. Henry always teaches about the art of chuckamation. In the Action League Now, which you guys just saw already right there, Schwartz to June in Your Real Best Friend. 
Henry also explains what a villain and protagonist is and how Dual Action League now is. Would be without them in the Money Train 2 episode. Together, him and June explain the principles of accordion squash in season one. In episode one, resistance is futile. Resistance is futile. Excuse me. And the phrase is onomatopoeia in season three. Episode your logo here. And uh, there's a whole bunch of little pictures and spoilers of what his body weight is and all that and his age. You can read that in your own. So June, let's get on to June. June is a main character in Nickelodeon animated television series of Kablam. And it's short-lived spin-off The Henry and June Show. She co-hosts school and I am with Henry and her best friend. That's all just on the other one. Appearance. June has blue hair with a ponytail and with spiky bangs and is most often seen wearing a yellow t-shirt with a red-orange jacket and black spots. And green pla plaid shorts, or plaid shirts, excuse me. Plaid shorts and black shoes. In a couple of episodes, episodes it is revealed that she wears... A white sleeveless undershirt and under her tees and jacket. And in one episode, she's even shown in her underwear. Bloomers that match her jacket. I didn't even know that. Okay. Um, characterization and personality. June's characterization and personality changes significantly different between season one and two. And she's depicted as overly excited, ditzy, and not too bright. In season two and four, however, she is depicted as smart, prone to sneaky remar sneaker remarks and laid back, but with a rather fiery temper. This changes in the characterization which was very well received by fans. One of June's most consistent traits is that she is a prankster and often teases Henry. Usually she's laughing at him because he always gets hurt. June has a number of skills. She is often shown to be quite proficient with the machines and gadgets, but in a built but built to last. I was gonna say but built to last, never mind. But in a built a large complex Page turning device. She also can play acoustic guitar and sing. Relationship with Henry. Even though Henry is frequently, even though they frequently bicker and he often reads up to the end of receiving her jokes, her end of the jokes. Henry and June are very close friends. They have been threats to the bond and most nobility. I already read that part. I'm going to read it again. Episode 29. June's lessons. June teaches about choking and the Heimlich movie in season 3. Episode 3 of More Happiness That Allows by Law episode, where she lets June choke on a wedding cake as she, as she, cake just as she teaches. Excuse me, I'm sorry if I'm having trouble reading, my bad. Sorry guys. Together, Henry and June explain the principle of the accordion squash in Season 1 of Resistance Futile and the phrase on my in Season 3 and the episode of your logo here. And I already read that. So that's all of her. You can read all of her voice actors' appearance and all that. Other than that, um, overall thoughts, views, and opinions, this thing had so many things in the shows. I'm going to take you back in time to a time when it was literally the 90s a pinnacle of, like, cartoons. Besides, you know, the Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh, even though they've grown into big, ginormous franchises nowadays. But back then, it was just starting out. And I remember, it like, it was yesterday, even though it was almost 21 years ago. Oh my God. That long. It's crazy, man. Time goes by so much when you enjoy yourself, you know, ladies and gentlemen. I remember they had Prometheus and Bob, which you guys just saw there. Um, Life with Loopy, she was really, really super funny. It's crap, man, literally. And then these other, like, little short comic animation shows. They were literally less than two minutes. They were short as heck. It was like the Nickelodeon version of what Cartoon Network was at that time in the 90s when they used to show what a cartoon show. That's kind of like how they got their foot in the door with animators back in... Not even just the 90s. I think probably the 80s. They got it like in a different way too. But it was mostly I think radio and comics at that time. But in the 90s it transferred a lot more to television. So I obviously know more about that era than I do with the 80s. Because I was only born in 89. Of course I didn't remember nothing obviously. I'd have to be God to do that. <laughs> but other than that. Um, I remember they had a whole bunch of other little season shows. I think they had a really old old like. Like pre old school segment version of Hey Arnold and Cat Dog. But like they weren't called that. And then they had this parody version of, like, Gumby, parody versions of Pee Wee Herman. There was a lot of 90s pop culture references, like how they used to show, like, 90s bands, like Backstreet Boys or Sync or freaking Hanson. And uh, a couple other ones like Josh. And um, even, like, early 90s references to that dude. I forgot his name. Um, Kurt Cobain. Um, what else was on there? Um, even a couple old school rappers that were just coming out in the 90s, like, late 90s with Eminem, Cypress Hill, um, Buster Rhymes. 
a lot of really old school rappers and old school rock bands out there, no doubt, was a pop rock reference. They were cool as heck. Um, even pop singers like Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera, like, I remember them all. They used to make a lot of references to those type of times that were really big back in the day. Real fun stuff, even though a lot of them are probably either drug addicts or crackhead addictions or some might be dead, I don't know. But, you know, it's always good to reminisce back in the day. Not all the time, but sometimes it is. And yeah, that's it. So, like I always do say, ladies and gentlemen, everyone else, peace out once again. Bros, women, bronies, and pegasus. So, I will see you when I see you guys. Have a good day. Have a good night. We're right around the world. Don't drink, smoke, weed at the same time. Don't do anything reckless. Keep it calm. Keep it cool. Keep it chill. Keep it collective, all that good stuff. And until then, that's it, guys. Peace out. Stay tuned. More videos coming soon. Brand new videos on this channel almost every single day. And with that, with that said, I will see you guys later. Take it easy. Stay safe. I'm out with sauerkraut. And I will see you guys next time. You guys take it easy. Stay on the ground. Be easy. Be you. Do you. Do yourself. All that stuff. All the good stuff. And I'm out of here. You guys take care. Stay safe. I will see you guys in the next one. And I'll look out for more future content on this channel. Late. And um, hopefully I get some other old school 90s stuff. Maybe like Rugrats. Possibly. I doubt it. Because I know it's not for Nickelodeon. Maybe Lloyd in Space. But I think that was 2000s. Or some other stuff. Just be on the lookout for it. And um I'm trying to think of something else. Hmm. The Salute Your Shorts thing. Even though I was way too young to see that because I was like three or four when it came out. I'll still review it anyways. Take care and I'm out.